Hi everyone, so one of the self-sabotaging traits I want to get into is perfectionism and it's very hard to spot unless you're facing challenges and you're actually keeping tabs on yourself, keeping an, a close eye on on your behaviour and you your personal development. So one of the, uh, it happens basically, it, it starts basically when um, you've been judged or criticised in the past, most likely when you're a child, but it can happen in adulthood as well. And it's when we've not been taught to use it as a tool for feedback to work on our personal development and as, as a child, that's the foundation stage of building your personality. So it comes into play, as I say, when you're faced with challenges or, and in the, in the case of starting a business, your fear of judgment creeps in and you just want to get everything right because you don't want any negative feedback. It can actually happen as well when you're facing a creative overwhelm and you're just passionate about getting getting what it whatever it is it like that you're creating out there but it can often go hand in hand with procrastination and because of that fear of judgment and wanting to get everything spot on you focus on the things that really just don't matter at all such as uh, the i know the way that your website looks the uh, leaflets things like that and really at the end of the day it's the message that you are putting across just overcome it by being honest with the people that are following you and be honest with your clients your customers and uh, yeah um appreciate as well and praise yourself for the growth and the learning and applying your knowledge to as you grow as you take in those steps to grow your personal your personal development so certain skill sets however um require um attention to whether it's a health and safety concern and if that's the case then just take some time to to think if you need maybe a supervisor or a mentor to keep watch on on how you're applying your techniques and things like that but in the case of online business getting on camera thing it's it, honestly it's just the showing up it's just the message and it's absolutely fine if you don't cover everything so and obviously if you have the skill sets where it requires like health and safety concerns you might need to put yourself in a space not necessarily university or anything like that but a space where you can be graded and assessed so when it comes to like online business or even just your personal growth if you're not if you're not even into that sort of thing then all i would say is just prioritize what's really important and as i say in the case of online business it's not what it's not how your website looks it's not um your your leaflets or your pamphlets it's you they want to see you and they want to see what what you, you're going to do next, basically. So keep that in mind. And I would actually say as well, maybe go back into any situations in the past where people have left a comment to your comment or your post and uh, gave you a bit of criticism for how you might may have spoke then and look at it from an observational point of view and a self-critiquing point of view and just question yourself well how can i how can i change like how can i change this in the future how can i 
how should I have respond, responded or posted, um, how should I have communicated, maybe. So, and just keep a journal and keep, uh, keep tabs on yourself is the most important thing. Okay?